Hi guys, it's Bill here with East Tennessee Living, and today I'm in my garage uh, because it's pouring down rain outside, so it's a little dark in here, but i um, shooting a video today to show you guys. I guess uh, if any of you have seen any of my most recent video, I did one on this new rack made for the Diamondback. So I got that on there, and there was another video I did, if anybody caught it. Uh, I went on a ride with a guy, did some 4x4 off-roading, and we went through uh, it's called Nemo Tunnel in Wartburg. And that was my first time going through there. That was a flooded, used to be an old railroad tunnel, flooded out, and uh, it was a very long tunnel. I thought it was a short thing, but... Once we got in there, uh, yeah, it was it was different, that's for sure. Nothing like I've ever done before. But So this is my TRD Pro. I'm sure some of you guys might have seen it before. But anyway, I got home today, and I got some stuff in the mail I ordered because I'm looking to put some lights back here. Because one of the things that was a problem in the video, I'm sorry, not the video, in the tunnel, uh, there was an oncoming vehicle from the other end of the tunnel and we couldn't turn around in there and we can't pass each other in there it's just single file only you're supposed to lay on the horn before you get in there and we did that but uh, evidently the other driver didn't hear us and we didn't hear him but they were nice enough to back out for us so but when I did put it in reverse to try to see if I could back out I couldn't see anything in there it was pitch black behind me and all I have is the one white light up on the cab there, and that wasn't doing nothing. So if anybody has any good ideas, recommendations for lights to put on this thing, backup lights, or want to use, you know, I'll put some camping lights. I'm going to get an RTT up here one of these days, rooftop tent. So anyway, uh, that brings me to the main point of this video. And I just came back. Uh, off a little trip I was gonna do some turkey hunting of course the weather didn't work out but so I got some hunting gear in here but this is the stuff I got in the mail so I want to put lights up there and for I don't know how long I've been looking for a a switch panel with relays and fuses and all that so I've been looking at these for a while I actually ordered off eBay and uh, so I got this whole system here course it comes with bunches of stickers for different light different types of lighting and a little instruction pamphlet here I haven't started to install it yet of course and just looking everything over but it's way so far my first impression is it's way more heavy duty than I expected so this is the actual switch panel and I thought it'd be some cheap little plastic deal, but it's actually hard metal. This is all hard metal. And it lights up, has a background on and off button. Comes with some screws. Mounting hardware. Some brackets that spin around for this switch panel. There's different ways to mount it. You can flush mount it. You can put it on this thing like a pedestal. Sorry, I'm fumbling around a little bit. I'm trying to shoot with one hand and pick up these items. The wiring harness. A couple of wiring harnesses. It's got some tools. Zip ties in the bottom. This is for a flush mount, flush mounting switch panel. So this is the main control box fuse panels this is also very heavy duty it's all it, the top is plastic Let's see if I can get this open uh, but the base and the main part of the unit is is heavy metal so yeah like I said I thought it'd be all cheap plastic but it's I have to set this down for just a second and get this open for you guys I can figure it out I had it open earlier, so there it is. Oh, I it the wrong way. 
Okay, so the box open here, this is the fuse box, actually, where you connect all your wires. So this is actually heavy metal as well. And it has a little weight to it. So circuitry is all inlaid in some kind of coating here. And all, all the fuse, it's got different size fuses, two fives, two tens, two twenties, and two thirties. And of course your main power is going to come in through here. And then you got this handy gadget here. It's, it's like a circuit breaker. So 60 amp. So that's real nice to have. And this is heavy duty as well. It's not cheap. Like I, I wasn't sure how all this stuff was going to come in. So that it's just like a, you know a ground fault interrupter in your bathroom or something. It's, it basically does the same thing. So that's nice. I'm not sure exactly under the hood where how I'm going to mount this stuff. Um, I'll figure that out here in a little while. So anyway, um, that's the that's the light panel, light eight gain panel here, eight switch panel system universal. And it comes with instructions, of course. So. We'll read through all this and get to work on it. So also, um, what well, seemed like a pretty good deal. I actually paid one hundred and forty dollars. But uh, other systems, comparable systems, were uh, pretty much the same. Some a little bit less, but uh, this one actually came with this box as well. So, and I wasn't really looking for rock lights necessarily, but I did want some lighting, you know, a uh, different kind of lighting around the truck for camping and stuff. But this hooks to your phone, smartphone controlled, RGB 16 million colors. 29 style scene mode music to light sync mode mic audio input voice control schedule timing function but these are rock lights ah, shoot and i lost my battery all right so i got the eight gang fuse panel and the light panel connected to the truck i elected to put it right here gives me a nice spot i can reach it easily and I've only got three, I'm only utilizing three buttons right now. I got backup, cargo, and rock. So I'll go ahead and put on those rock lights I was telling you about. It's not very dark outside, but you can still see them pretty good. They would be a little brighter, I think, if my wheel wells weren't so dirty. Got them all the way around, all four tires. And what I saw was, uh, in some instructions I watched actually online, um, you put them up in here, facing at an angle like that, almost like a 45 degree angle, if you could see it. That way they're kind of bouncing off the inner panel, instead of just being up in the top and facing straight down. They said you get a better light that way. I think once I clean the wheel wells too, it'll be a little bit brighter. But I like them panel's nice works great satisfied with it so far so yeah and uh, if you've seen any of my other videos I uh, I had some side shooter ditch lights on here and I decided uh, I didn't really like them all that much I didn't think they were bright enough and I found these online this brand is called Nylite and I got them at a super cheap price and um, they the videos uh, they their website has videos nylight that shows them putting them through massive amounts of torture I mean beating them with hammers blow torch all sorts of crazy stuff so I said what the hell I'll give them a shot for the price you can't go wrong I just used my original mounting under the hood mounting brackets that I already had on here. And I was asking about, in one of my previous videos, when I was showing you my new rack system I got here, the Thorax rack by Chassis Unlimited. 
I was asking about lights for the back here. So what I decided to do was just take these off the hood and the front and put them in the back here. So that's what I did. So yeah, there you go. And um, because uh, I was talking about before uh, we were in this tunnel, me and another guy doing some off-roading, and was trying to back up, and it was so dark in there you couldn't see anything, so I realized I, I need backup light. So I'll go ahead and show you that, turn those off. And I got one other thing, one other set of lights besides these. So there you go. Now I got backup light. Turn this off. There you go. I might like them better if they were amber or yellow, but they do pretty good for backup lights. Now, when I had these on the hood, they came with their own wiring harness. So, I didn't want to redo all that. I should have probably put them on here, but I went ahead and stayed with the same button that I had. You can't really see it. I got it over here. So, I'll go ahead and turn those on. And These are pretty dang bright in the daylight. But I like the color of them. They are yellow, and the rest of my lights around the truck that I have on the front here are amber. I'll show you that real quick. Sorry, I had to turn them on. So I got those lights up there. If you can see them, they're not very bright. So, those are the backlit lights for the Baja designs. One thing I failed to mention though, by the way, um, when I hooked this up, I decided to, instead of using the fuse panel under the hood, I couldn't find one that allowed me just to uh, turn it on with just the accessory mode. I've got the push button light, or starter button on my truck. Some have a key, but if you push it once, of course you're in accessory mode. Sorry for the beep. So the panel comes on and everything works with it just being an accessory mode. And I used one of the fuses under the dash in the truck for that. I don't know exactly which one it was. But yeah, so that's the way I went with that. And also I don't have auxiliary battery or anything. But what I did do was last when I needed a battery recently... I went with an AGM battery, which was way more expensive, but it takes a lot more, it holds a lot more juice and lasts a lot longer if you're running accessories without the engine on. So I went with that. And maybe eventually I want to do, I want to add some solar, you know, solar battery, solar, solar charging system. So if anybody's got any ideas for that, they could shoot me good system to go with yeah let me know and again thanks for watching